This is the coolant pump that come with my Harrison lathe. It's obviously a replacement pump because this one's plastic. The original pump would have been metal. Uh, the motor on the pump is dual voltage, 440, 230. And what I want to do with this pump, I want to run it on the lathe and the milling machine. So I want to try and convert it to run on 240 volt mains, single phase instead of 440, three phase. The reason being, I don't want to have to run the rotary converter just to run this pump when I'm using the milling machine. We'll have a look inside the motor and see what sort of wiring connections are in there. See if it will easily convert to single phase. Right, that's the plate on the motor. It says there 23440 three phase. We'll take the cover plate off. Right, straight away I can see we've got the the six ends of the wires or the coils of the motor and it's actually at the minute wired in star configuration for 440 volt. This will easily convert to delta for 240 volt and there is a way of running it on single phase. There's even a wiring diagram in there which gives you a lower voltage and high voltage. High voltage is star lower voltage is delta. All we need to do is take the nuts off and these two these two bridging pieces go from instead of being that way they go that way in one two three join them all together and that way the motor will run on three phase 240 volt. There you have three phases there one two three What you normally find is you get three of these. Of course there's only two here. So we want one across there. One across there. I'll have to make another one for there. Right, so we'll put our, our three link bars across. It's now wired in delta configuration. And that's where the, the three wires and we have three phase supply would go. So we'll have to generate the extra phase. To do that, we'll use a capacitor. These are our live and neutral, our normal 240 volt single phase supply. That's the earth. This motor is double insulated, so it hasn't got an earth. What I will do, I'll put the earth onto the water tank, which is also earth to the lathe. So they go through there. Right, here go to any two. Right, we're alive and neutral. So now we need to generate extra phase for this one. We'll do that by putting a capacitor between any one of those and that central phase. Right, I've got a capacitor here. We'll link this in to the centre phase. Or the phase that hasn't got any power to it. Then any one of the other two. If you find the motor is running in the wrong direction, you can simply swap any one connection over and that will reverse the direction of the motor.
got to be aware that that's 240 volts in here you're playing around with. Right, so we've configured it, or we've reconfigured it from star wound to delta wound through a capacitor. Right, we want it to go that way, which is clockwise from this end. It's going anti clockwise. You can hear the motors run quite happy. I'll turn them two around and get it run in the correct direction. Right, to change direction, we'll take that one off there, put it onto that side. Right, it's now running in the correct direction. There's loads of torque. It sounds nice and quiet. Right, I want to check the voltage across the across the windings. So the first one will be this one, which should be 240, 238. That one there, 270, and that one. 260 so uh, the voltages aren't too bad what you can do you can play around with different values of capacitor and get them all running more or less the same there's probably a formula for working out what size capacitor to use and just experiment and this motor is running a very low load well it's a it's only a cooling motor check them again That's a straight mains in, 238, that's one phase, it's 270, and the other phase is 265, that'll run happily like that. Obviously I'll build a box for the capacity to go in and all the wire will be tidied up and I will earth the, put the earth onto the water tank, although the motor is double insulated. Putting an earth on can't hurt.